come on. Man, it is a mess out there. If if ever there was a time to feel pessimistic, now is the time. And this is Metal Fitness Friday. I'm Larry McInnes, and you are awesome. But still, you have my permission to feel pessimistic. I mean, why not? There's that never-ending war in that Russia launched in, uh, onto Ukraine, uh, we got these new daily atrocities in Israel and Gaza. Uh, thank God those have put on pause for who knows how long. There's the real possibility that Donald Trump could get reelected. And we've got the slow burn. That's the climate crisis. So add all that to your own personal challenges. And you've got a cocktail of pessimism and anxiety and hopelessness for the future. And this chips away at our mental health and our well-being and our quality of life. So yeah, it can be hard to feel optimistic at the moment. So fortunately for us, these negative emotions don't have to be uh, permanent fixtures. There is a way to improve uh, your mental fitness and train your mind to be more optimistic, more confident, more resilient, uh, while maintaining your awareness of the global and personal challenges. So I've been talking about uh, two kinds of neural networks over the past few weeks. We all have them, what I call the saboteurs and the sage. The saboteurs generate the fear and anxiety and the pessimism. And as weird as it sounds, the saboteurs weren't always saboteurs. They, you know, for most of human history, those negative emotions kept us alive. But today, not so much. Now today, those sabot uh, <coughs> the sabotaging emotions, well, they're, they're sabotaging us. But alternatively, the sage generates confidence and compassion and optimism. The sage is that little voice that gives you the occasional flash of insight and tells you, things will be okay. Now, there's an 80% chance that one or more of your saboteurs have overwhelmed your sage and taken over your uh, control of your mind. And this makes you more prone to giving into the challenges of the world with a negative and reactive attitude. What we wanna do is weaken the saboteurs and strengthen the sage so you can handle the challenges of the world with a more positive and proactive attitude. So one way to do that is by practicing certain short exercises that uh, activate the regions of your brain that are associated with the sage. And over time, these exercises can help you shift from a pessimistic to an optimistic mindset uh, by making you more aware of the present moment and the positive aspects of your situation. So let's do uh, let's do an exercise right now, and uh, close your eyes and take a deep breath through your nose and out your mouth. Let's do it again. Then return to your normal breath, and with your eyes closed. Touch two fingertips together with such fine attention that you can feel the fingertip ridges. Okay, so maybe you felt a slight shift toward calm in that exercise. And sure, one rep of these mental exercises isn't that much 
just like one bicep curl isn't that much, but just like repeating bicep curls over time builds up your arms, repeating these mental exercises like this one over time builds up your sage neural network because what fires together wires together. This trains your brain to be more alert, more calm, more creative, and more empathetic. So with the sage, as it's growing, comes the sage perspective. And the sage perspective is this. Every experience and every situation and every outcome is a gift and opportunity, even the shitty ones. So this perspective helps you see the reality more clearly and to find the positive aspects of every situation. <clears throat> so let me give you an example of how powerful the sage perspective is. The Austrian psychiatrist, Viktor Frankl, used a very similar technique to maintain uh, hope and a sense of uh, meaning while he was uh, interned in the Nazi uh, prison camps in World War II. Now, a prison camp is another situation where one would be given a pass if they felt optimist, uh, felt pessimistic. But Frankel saw firsthand that his fellow inmates, the ones who lost hope and surrendered to their pessimistic and negative emotions, would literally be dead within 48 hours. With the sage perspective in mind, there are sage powers uh, as well that you can use to manage both the global and personal challenges. They are empathy, curiosity, innovation, navigation, and activation. And each one of these powers has a specific purpose and a specific technique that you can use to apply it. So let me go over these powers very, very briefly. So you, if you start with empathy, that means caring for yourself and others. It helps you recharge and connect and heal. And it's a good way to be empathetic. A good way to be empathetic is to imagine yourself or someone else uh, as a child and see their innocence. And this lowers your anger, your uh, impatience, and increases your compassion. Moving on to curiosity, this is all about being open and interested in just what is. It helps you understand and explore things better. And a great technique is just to be this fascinated anthropologist and to watch what is, you know, without judging it or trying to change it. And this helps you see things more clearly and helps you learn from them too. Moving on to innovation, this means creating new things, new, uh, new solutions. And you use this to solve problems and generate ideas. So a great technique that I learned from improv comedy is the yes and game. So you put a, an idea out there on a piece of paper with a buddy and you say, <clears throat> and we respond to that idea with yes. And what I love about that idea is da, 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 and say another idea, rinse and repeat. This helps you value and improve every idea, not just judge it or dismiss it. Moving on to navigation, this means uh, choosing the best way forward based on your deeply held values and beliefs. And it helps you pick the best option for you and for others, for your team. So a great technique is uh, to flash forward and imagine yourself at the end of your life looking back at today, at the choices you're now facing. And from that vantage point, this helps you see what matters. And then finally, we go into activation, and this is all about taking action and overcoming challenges. And this helps you execute your plan and deal with any obstacles. So the technique here is to preempt the saboteurs because they are going to come back Expect how they might stop your action and uh, intercept them and let go of their thoughts. So this helps you stay focused and motivated and uh, 
you're more able to avoid delays and distractions. And this is the core of mental fitness, you know, allowing you to cope with the challenges of the world and in your personal life and improving your well-being and making a positive difference in your life and the lives of others and the lives uh, and in the world. Okay, <laughs> I know that was a lot, but here's your one takeaway to remember. Every situation, every challenge, every outcome can be a gift and opportunity. So your job now is to take this, go out into the world and experiment with it. So I'd love to hear your, uh, hear about your experiences. Uh, and if anything I said struck a chord with you, put that in the comments. If you have a question, uh, put that in the comments too. And yeah, if you, uh, if you're going to experiment with that uh, uh, Sage perspective, drop those in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Okay. And of course, you can always DM me. So with that, guys, have a great weekend. And I will see you next week at this time on Mental Fitness Fridays.